Hello and welcome to Online Check-In, the lowdown in what's happening in travel and tech on the web. I'm Carmen Roberts. Are you a tourist or a traveller? So many people these days are shunning the guidebook in favour for a more local, authentic experience. And just one of the many peer-to-peer -peer offerings out there is Shirube, which in Japanese means to guide. Shirube.com has a whole host of locals in cities around the world, ready to show you around their hometowns. Just log in, choose your location and guide, and you can negotiate a price, which might not necessarily be in hard currency. For instance, you can trade an English lesson in exchange for a tour of a local neighborhood in Barcelona. But if all this sounds too off the beaten track for your travel tastes, then look to your nearest hotel chain. More and more hotels these days are encroaching on guidebook territory in a bid to get our attention. Traders Hotel Group has launched its own website and app called Be Ready, offering advice and practical tips on travel, technology and innovation for that manager on the go. Of course, if you're already a savvy road warrior, you might think this is pretty basic, but there's tips on everything from restaurant recommendations, prepaid SIM card advice, to how to navigate peak hour traffic in cities like Beijing. And you can save it to a folder and read it offline later. Another hotel chain that's gagging to get our attention is the Swire Hotels Group. It's gone so far as to launch its own blog, facetiously called you be much better here.com, as well as an animated video from its new social media campaign. Who needs a concierge, right? Here's an app that tries to ensure you'll never be lost when you travel ever again. Copilot Live is a mobile navigation software, just like having your own personal GPS system on your smartphone or tablet. So whether you're in a car or on foot, you'll get offered at least three different routes to get to your destination, as well as access to live traffic updates. The maps don't need a data connection, saving you some serious cash if you're abroad. As you'd expect, this baby isn't cheap, but depending on where you are traveling, it could cost less than a traditional GPS, and you won't have to cart around yet another gadget. If you've stumbled upon a handy travel website or app, drop me a line. The address is fasttrack at bbc.com. Julian Huntley got in touch recently to tell me about his latest brainwave, the London Music Map. This free app is great for music-minded visitors who want to see a different side to the UK capital. There are more than 500 music destinations to visit, like where The Clash shot London Calling or Bob Marley's first flat in London. But it's not just history, it's also the place to find out about local gigs, record shops, as well as music studios. Sweet of the week time now, and this little gem is from my favorite tech travel guru, Kevin May from T News. And this is one for all you skiers and boarders out there. Epic Mix has already been using RFID technology to track skiers on the slopes in the US at resorts like Vail. But now it's taking the effort out of bragging and giving users the chance to sync their snow pics to their social media pages, as well as order high-res hard copies to rub your friends' faces in it. But I wonder if there'll be many posts of all those crashes and head plants. And finally, let me leave you with a video of yet another airline trying to be cool and down with the kids. But hey, it sure beats the usual in-flight safety announcements. Who else but Southwest in the US? Enjoy and see you next time.